Hi, uh, this is a repacking of my bug out bag. Uh, what I'll do first is put the things that are soft at the back so that if I fall, it won't hurt me because I have some hard um, aluminum boxes. And inside are my clothes. And on these bags, um, they do kind of make a seal. So you have to put pressure on the back and then get the air out of them. Uh, you roll down. The, t the outside rim is a little piece of plastic and then it's sewn in with a thicker piece of plastic. Plastic like um, kind of the the kind like you, uh, those snap-on bracelets you see. That's about the what it's like. But it's very flexible. And then you roll it down on itself. And then you bring it around and snap it together. And it, you can see it makes kind of a seal. And I'm putting that in the very back. Well, it's, it's in the pouch that will be against my back. I'll put that in there just to make it a cushion. And then this is the, the hammock that was in the other one that I didn't get to show you. Um, I'm not going to take it completely out, but I'll... What it is, is you just um, stretch it out and it's got grommets at each end and you can tie it to a tree with a rope and then it folds flat. And I'm going to back with the other dry bag. The emergency tent and the atlas will go on the back too. And then I'll put the wet wipes at the top so if I do fall hopefully if they're being at the top they won't uh, get popped open and then some pads and I did get uh, tampons but I didn't include them but I'm gonna do a redo of my but, but I don't know if I'll film it but I'm gonna do a redo and just um, take some stuff out and add maybe add a few other things and then this is the uh, first aid kit I'm putting that in the, in the middle one at the back. And that's why I did have the um, dry bag at the back too. And then these are the walkie-talkies. And I'll go at the side. The aluminum is going to go at this side. The little pot uh, will go in here too. And I'll actually put the food in there well as well uh, next up against the between the t two metal uh, uh, the pot and the walkie-talkie tin um, that way if I fall maybe they will get popped and ruined or come out in the pack I'll put the book the um, survival guide in there the candles and then the outer bottom pocket I'm going to put all these things um, I have three emergency blankets and you can actually use those as a tent they're really big when you open them up uh, they're super thin they're thinner probably thinner than paper um, but they would ke keep the rain off of you if you had to use them um, and the two ponchos the three emergency kits the two hot hand packs of hot hands are two different kinds and then um, a little wet wipe pack and that I'm going to put in this outside bottom zipper okay. what I like to do is put matches and a light on each side in each of the outside pockets so on this side I'm going to put um, waterproof matches and then I'll put this little uh, clip-on light on this side. And I did actually get um, the lights that you um, strap on your head. I got a couple of those but I'm not including them. And then in the other pocket I'll put the flint and steel 
um, a little flashlight and these are the matches uh, waterproof matches and the little waterproof whoops in there it has the little, that little papers the strike paper it, ha it says it had a strike pad on the bottom of this but it's not a strike pad what it is um, for matches it's a little uh, thing for this but you don't get you know a piece of steel to, to get a and I can't get a, a spark off of it with this so I don't know why they put it on there but it's good to have a little extra and I'll put that in the other on the other side and then the, the pens and the pencils and markers and paper I'm putting on the inside zipper right here along with a little light uh, a flashlight um, this is the multi-tool that I had in there I didn't uh, talk about it I d touched it but I forgot to actually uh, talk about it in, in the, the other video it's a it was free from global industries um, this I got when I was using myspace and if you put a link on your myspace to global industries you got a free little multi-tool so that's what that is and it's got the measuring on the outside it's pretty nice for free and I put that in one of the outside pockets the signaling mirror I'm going to turn this way and put on the in the mesh on the outside put the tissue and the hand sanitizer in the outside pouch these are just cotton swabs those go in here in the top and I'll put my uh, medication in that one and I put the the shampoo I'm going to put it on in the outside pocket of the other side uh, because I don't want it to if it if I do fall I'm hoping it doesn't get crushed if it does I hopefully it'll can the bag will contain it um, but if it does pop open I want it to be on the outside where it doesn't get in my stuff okay the toiletries they'll go in here um, along with the tools I have a wrench um, a little multi-tool and the tent spikes I'm going to slide those into the little slots and in, inside and I'll also put um, this is a little crank radio and a light um, I'm going to put that on the inside so that if it rained it wouldn't get wet I have the two kinds of rope I'm going to put that in the middle uh, the two types of tape I'm going to put in the middle this is the little fishing kit I'm putting that on the outside zip of uh, the mesh bag on the outside this um, this is the little alcohol soap I'm going to put it on the outside in the, in the bag on one of the sides because if it if I fell and this popped open it would get flammable oil all over my stuff so I don't want that to happen so I'm going to put it on the outside of this side I guess well, actually, I'm going to move the shampoo, put it in that one, put the shampoo in the middle of the back, well, not the middle, on the side. The Ziplocs, put those on the outside. Uh, this is that knife, and I have looked, they, I've got some really good um, advice, uh, they, uh, m -Tech was really good, and I'm looking at those. Um, those are really inexpensive and they look like decent knives and then someone just posted about another kind it starts with an M like uh, I don't know the name it's Swedish but those look really cool they've got plastic handles which would be really good to grip and wouldn't like well I, they had a wood one, uh, a wood handled one, but that was kind of it was like ten more dollars for that one. But it it was and it was looked looked a lot nicer. But I don't know. I'm still looking at them. I want to take my time and decide and get the right one. But this one I'm putting on the outside. 
Uh, these are the glow sticks, and I'm going to put those on the inside. This outer zipper. Um, a sewing kit. Put that in here. This is the little nails and screw kit. I'm putting that in the inside zipper, the first inside zipper. The little brush goes in there. This I meant to be in that um, tin with the walkie talkies, but it got loose, so I'm putting it in here. The little telephone, I'm going to put it in the center one inside the tape so that if I fell, it wouldn't get crushed. And I meant that to be inside the tin as well, but it doesn't fit with the walkie talkies. The compass will go on inside the outs one of the side pockets. The carabiners, they'll go in the center top pocket. The cable ties, they'll go in this middle pocket. I'll put them with the ropes and things. This is the stun gun I had. This you can turn, it's a really old kind of dinosaur type stun gun, but it, it works. You turn it, to, here's the little off and on switch, you turn that on. And then on this side it's got a trigger. I don't know if you can see the little spark. I can see it, but I don't know if the camera picks it up. There's a little spark that goes across. And then I'll put that in the outside zipper. And I have this. This is the little water bottle. It'll go in the outside zipper. The mosquito net will go on the outside mesh bag on the other side. Then I have the clothespins. They'll go in here. And then the masks. Those will go in this um, center slotted part, like where you keep your pencils and stuff. I had thought this was, these were matches in the last video, but they're not. These are what I put the water tablets in, the water purification tablets. And you can see it's got a little gasket. It's supposed to be airtight, but the water tablets, even in that, just turn to white powder mush. And so those water tablets you get in Walmart and those little bottles are not good unless they're inside the bottle. And if you open the bottle, I believe they ruin um, quickly. So, and I don't, I don't know if those are effective still in that state. So, eh, I, I, somebody suggested some that I'm looking at on Amazon, and I'm going to get those. They're in the little packets, like, like little sugar packets or whatever. And they're not very expensive either. Oh, and I saw in one video, <coughs> excuse me, somebody had got a quick clot, but it was at Walmart, and they, I haven't been able to find it close by. It's like wound, the kit is called, it's not a kit, it's like in the first aid section. It's called wound care, and it's got um, quick clot inside of it, which I thought was really good because otherwise you have to order it. But... That is my bug out bag repacked, uh, just to prove it does all fit. Um, now this would probably be put inside my car. If I it wasn't able to put it inside the car, a lot of this would be uh, taken out and left. Um, there would wouldn't probably 80% of it would be taken out. Moa well, maybe 70% would be taken out and left somewhere because I couldn't carry this. I don't know how much this weighs, but. I mean, I could pick it up, but it's heavy. Um, but to carry it, I don't know. I probably wouldn't. And most of it's kind of like luxury stuff anyway. Uh, but it, it, unless it, unless I was able to use my car, I would definitely pare this down quite a bit. Um, but that is my repacking video. I thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for me, um, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Bye.